Hi, we're Mike and Liz. Welcome back to our DIY homestead in the mountains of North Idaho. For the past year and a half, we've been constructing our debt-free 36 by 48 foot shop house. With winter finally arriving, we're moving to indoor projects and finish work. Since we recently discovered moisture inside of the walls, we're beginning the first steps in resolving our condensation issue. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the homestead. We hope all of you had a Merry Christmas and are having a great holiday season. We know Mike and I, we sure enjoyed time spent with our families, but now we are back on the grind, um, back kind of doing the nitty gritty stuff around the homestead mm -hmm. that we need to get done. You wanna, yeah. you wanna tell them about that? Right back at it. Today we are working on this wall here behind us. We'll flip it around and show you. We got this whole wall up at the top that we need to frame in yet. So we're gonna start by framing that in and getting some insulation up there. And then we're starting to address the moisture issue as well that we've asked you guys about in previous videos or shown you in previous videos. Mm -hmm. So we've kind of taken all that as like an accumulation and come up with what we think is going to be the solution. We hope, we're pretty sure. Yeah. Um, we got, you know, seven mil plastic. We got that right tape. I don't know what it is. We'll show you guys the tape we got. We got mm -hmm. the caulking. We're just gonna try to seal up this place basically like a Ziploc bag. Right. Um, real tight, but first we need to frame it. Yeah, I'm gonna flip it around and show you guys what we got going on. All right, so first things first, like we said, we have to get this all framed in. So as you can see, that Tyvek out there is touching the metal to the outside. So that's no good. This is something that we know we've needed to do and now we're doing it, but we're gonna get that framed in and get some insulation in there so we can start getting that plastic up. So I just went through and put half inch pieces of plywood screwed to the gable end truss. And that is because we did a two by six wall, which actually comes out to five and a half inches wide with an inch and a half of two by four being the gable end. Sitting on that but leaves us with four inches. And as we frame this wall, those this wall is only three and a half inches wide. That's where that extra half inch comes in. It's kind of just a spacer. We'll just stuff these gaps. Yeah, I was kind of curious about that. We need to know the angle. I forgot the angle. We could try to see if there's a two by four cut to this angle down there already. Okay, so that is, so what we're going for is this angle because we're putting studs up to that mm -hmm. flat so That's we need the to know the end, angle yeah. okay and it's saying it's a 12 3 pitch okay. inside and then if we go to the other one it should show us that it's a 12 4 pitch outside yeah that's the roof pitch, okay yeah yeah you know but if we go back to this it's telling us our inside pitch is a 12 3 where it's angled About 14 degrees. Cool. And this thing will do it for you? Oh yeah. Pretty cool. Um, you cut it at a foot? like
So we got all of those studs cut to the right length and the right angle. So Mike is up there. He's going to pre-drill them all. Pre-drill that two by four, right? So it doesn't split. A couple of them. Yeah, pre-drill some of the two by fours and then we'll get those in there. Okay, so we kind of messed up with nailers for up here. We should have used a two by six and left an overhang this way. So we had a nailer for, you know, the ceiling material to go up into. Now, what I've come up is I got these strips of plywood here and I'm gonna put them on these boards just like that actually, you know, kind of overhang it. And that way I can use this plywood to get another two by four right next to that, you know? So I need a piece coming out this way. That should work out perfect. All it's doing is holding, you know, the roofing material. It's just a nailer, essentially. It's nothing structural. Then Liz is back there Woo. starting the insulation. So, yeah, get all that stuff filled in there. Yeah, I saw seven, but it's point seven. Busting these bad boys out for the first time this year. Let's get all set up. Love it. Okay, we made it to the middle. Now time to go to the seat part. There we go. Here great doggos. Breaking the trail.
we made it. That sure is beautiful. So Mike and I are gonna be back at it again this morning. We made the very silly mistake yesterday of buying the wrong plastic. So we were going for the seven mil and we ended up buying 0.7 mil. So that is much, much too thin. So we ended up having to do a unplanned trip into town to get the right plastic so that we could finish the project. So that's what we're gonna be doing this morning. We're gonna be putting up all that plastic, sealing it really, really well. Uh, we have at least two walls we're hoping to get done today, but more if we have time. So we're gonna go back down. This was a nice little walk. It's about zero degrees out right now. So it's a little chilly. Um, we're gonna go get some breakfast. I'm gonna get some grits and I'm really looking forward to some tea. So let's go back down dogs. What do you think? Should we go get some breakfast? Breakfast? Yeah, let's go. I missed it on the video, but June just bombed down that hill. What are you doing down there? It's a dead deer go boy. Let's go get her. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Woo! <laughs> I, I know. Mom's crazy. What? You're crazy. All right, I gotta get up. All right, so we are fed and caffeinated for the morning. Next morning, did you tell people about our little blunder? Yes, I yesterday? did. Okay, yeah, so that was fun, but Honest we are mistake. up to par here. Hopefully we got the good tape. Mm -hmm. We got the thick plastic now. We mm. got the caulk. I'm not sure where we're totally gonna use the caulk. Um, we need to kind of figure that out a little bit more. Yeah, I think we're gonna tape mostly everything. Mm -hmm. So maybe the outlet boxes, I'm not positive. I was reading we should do fireproof caulking if we put it in the outlets so i think we need to get some of that okay to seal the little holes back there but we're mm -hmm. just gonna go through this like crazy people and just seal everything mm -hmm. yeah let's do it let's do it so this is what we bought as you can see 0.7 that is extremely thin stuff so this is what we had to go for, to the store for yesterday six mil they didn't have seven but that's perfectly good enough Hoping we can get that way up and then just be careful. Put this, put that underneath. 
That one's still on. I knew it. That is my own fault. Um, Patches. Oh, cool. This outlet is on a different breaker. Oh, shit. Yep. You shot yourself? Yep. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Did it hurt? A little bit. All right, you guys, so we have these two walls completely finished. This red tape, this is called tuck tape. And so that is supposed to keep the air out of all the cracks. We sealed all the windows really, really good. We sealed the walls. We sealed the ceilings of all this new plastic. So no air should be getting through to all of that insulation behind it. Hopefully this stuff works. It comes highly recommended, made in Montreal. Hopefully it works. We have more walls to do, but these are the first two walls that we're getting done. So all that insulation is covered up. We are hoping that this works. We're actually going to put up wall material on this wall behind the wood stove today. So stay tuned for that in the next video. Step one complete of the hopeful solution to our moisture issue. Mm -hmm. um, so we have, yeah, this wall as well as that other living wall. We have some spots underneath the kitchen cabinets to do and then the bedroom up here mm -hmm. all our exterior walls essentially mm -hmm. and then the upstairs will be complete and then we have to move downstairs we're just kind of doing one wall at a time mm -hmm. it's already much much more noticeably warmer yeah way warmer here, in here since we framed in that put the insulation in and yeah covered it with plastic we were losing a lot of air so this is mm -hmm. a good step in the right direction you know hopefully this is a very good solution we're not going to know until we get all the walls completely covered up because wherever it's not covered, it's still going to continue to leak. Right. Which makes so. a lot of sense. Um, but we are addressing it now. Mm -hmm. So we're looking, we're hopeful and ready for the future. Yes. If you guys haven't already, please consider subscribing down below mm -hmm. and we will catch you in the next one. See you next time. Thanks for watching.